Thanks for joining me this afternoon. What I want to do is give you a taste of what's coming in my new book, Super Gut. Now, I'm going to try to share my screen. Uh, it's a little bit clunky in Facebook, so it looks like I lost the capacity to share my screen, so maybe I won't share my screen. So let me tell you what I'm up to. So this is about the new book, Super Gut. I'd like to think that Super Gut will do for your health and microbiome and many aspects of health what Wheat Belly also did. In other words, Wheat Belly changed the entire conversation, don't you think? On nutrition, dashing decades of this notion of cut fat, eat more healthy whole grains, which we now know is a very destructive lifestyle, uh, and, and doing the opposite, not cutting fat, not eating grains, is a miraculous, stupendous, fabulous, powerful strategy for weight loss and health. Well, likewise, new insights into the microbiome uh, are yielding very powerful additional strategies. Let me tell you how I came to this conclusion. Well, as you likely know, in the wheat belly lifestyle, we saw spectacular results. We saw people lose large quantities of weight. We saw people reverse type 2 diabetes and pre-diabetes. We saw people get rid of high blood pressure. We saw all kinds of other health conditions from migraine headaches to ulcerative colitis to Crohn's disease to irritable bowel syndrome to rheumatoid arthritis to skin rashes like rosacea go away. But it was also clear that a substantial number of people, while they enjoyed lots of upfront benefits, seem to stall at some point. For instance, someone might lose, let's say, 60 pounds. Spectacular, right? But still need to lose another 40. But were stuck. They were stuck at a plateau. Or maybe they had type 2 diabetes and their hemoglobin A1C at the start was sky high, maybe 10.7% or something terrible. On the wheat belly lifestyle, maybe it dropped. They lost a lot of weight and their hemoglobin A1C dropped to maybe 5.9%. Much improved but not ideal. Ideal is 5.0% or less. That's where all the excess risk of high blood sugars go away. So people got uh, uh, stuck just short of that. Or maybe they had some autoimmune condition like Hashimoto's thyroiditis or rheumatoid arthritis, and they were better on the wheat belly lifestyle with the addition of the supplements to correct factors like insulin resistance, but not all the way. So maybe with rheumatoid arthritis, maybe their joint pain was 70% better. They got off the, the bio, expensive biologic drug. Maybe they got off their prednisone that was causing them, causing them to gain weight and become diabetic. But they were stuck with occasional flare-ups. Maybe they had to go back to their ibuprofen or naproxen. So why, I ask, why did we see such spectacular progress only to see some people stall? Well, I looked to the microbiome for answers. And you know what? I found numerous, numerous answers that we have been putting to work. Now, there's what what super gut is not. I'm very proud. What super gut is not. It's not a book about take a probiotic, get some fiber, goodbye. It's not that at all. It's based on two general ideas. One is we, you've likely heard this. Modern humans have lost huge numbers of microbes that used to play an important role in health, mental health, emotional health, physiologic health, many roles in health, but we've lost them and we can replace them. Not, maybe not all of them, but we can, we can pick and choose among the microbes we want. You know what? And you can treat it like going to a restaurant. When you go to a restaurant, what does the waiter or waitress do? He or she hands you a menu, right? And you look through the menu. You don't say, oh my God, I can't eat all these appetizers, main dishes and side dishes and desserts, right? No, you say, I'm going to pick maybe that appetizer, I'll pick that uh, main dish, maybe I'll get that dessert. You pick and choose from the menu. That's what Super Gut does for you. When we replace lost microbes, you can pick among the microbes you want for the effect you want. So many of you are already familiar with our lactobacillus rotari. When we replace lactobacillus rotari, what happens? Spectacular things happen. Appetite is turned off. You can coast through your day. and You are in control of appetite, not the plate of donuts at work or some other tempting thing. It restores youthful muscle and strength. We lose about a third of our muscle and strength as we age. You can get it back. It's one of the most important things you can do, lactobacillus rotari, to preserve bone density. So you ladies taking calcium, you've got access to something far more effective with none of the side effects of calcium. Remember, calcium is a dangerous supplement. Uh, it accelerates healing. It 
makes your skin smoother, increases dermal collagen, it reduces the depth of wrinkles. How do you like that? That's replacing one microbe. There are many others, and you can get, you can, you can like the menu at a restaurant, you can order up what effect you want, shrinking your waist, deeper sleep with vivid dreams, boost in mood in children and babies, healthier babies that sleep through the night, have fewer diaper changes, and have higher IQs and less asthma as older children. In other words, you are able to pinpoint the kind of benefits you want and then replace that microbe to obtain those benefits or replace a group of microbes to get those benefits. That's one of the basic premises in Supergut. The second basic premise in Supergut is uh, that unhealthy microbes, as we lost healthy microbes, we've allowed unhealthy species to proliferate. And in many cases, in my estimation, one in three Americans, let me say that again, one in three Americans, or about a hundred million of us have allowed unhealthy bacteria to proliferate, then ascend up into the ileum, jejunum, duodenum, and stomach, comprising 30 feet, 30 feet of proliferated microbes dominating your G GI tract. Now, they don't live for 70 years, right? Those microbes live for hours, maybe days at most. Well, that rapid turnover of trillions of microbes living and dying in rapid succession, when they die, they release some of their byproducts, the debris, into your bloodstream. That's a relatively recently discovered phenomenon called endotoxemia. But this explains how microbes in the GI tract, now 30 feet of microbes, can be experienced, can be exported to other organs and show as the joint pain and swelling of rheumatoid arthritis or the headaches of migraine headaches or the depression of depression or the neurodegenerative disorders like Alzheimer's disease, multiple sclerosis and Parkinsonism or the skin rashes of rosacea or psoriasis. In other words, microbes dwelling in the 30 feet of GI tract export their effects and they show up as hundreds of different health conditions. In fact, I think virtually all diseases have to be reconsidered, re-examined in light of this phenomenon. Now, if you get this and there are ways to validate it, to verify whether this is true for you or not, you can do this in the comfort of your own home. Uh, and by, by the way, that's another theme in the super gut book. I don't say go to your doctor, talk to your doctor about this, because let you and I know the doctor doesn't know. The doctor is not an expert in health. Absolutely not. I'm generalizing, of course. This is true in general, especially for mainstream physicians. They are not experts in health. If anything, they are experts in health care, right? What MRI device to use, what neurologist to consult, what hospital use, what surgery to perform. But it comes to health, like reordering a disrupted microbiome or getting diet right or using lost nutrients to correct insulin resistance, the kinds of things we do. Doctor does not know. So you're not going to hear from me, oh, talk to your doctor about this, about uh, reordering your microbiome or this supplement or this manipulation of your micro. You're not going to hear that from me, okay? So uh, I, I'm very mindful that I try to give you tools that you can implement on your own safely, inexpensively, effectively on your own with little to no interference by the doctor or the healthcare system. Because the whole goal of Supergut is to bring you up to date on the evolving science of the microbiome. And I want you to know, it has gotten so far beyond this notion of take a probiotic and get some fiber. There's so much more you can do and do it on your own for magnificent effects. So stay tuned. I'll be talking more about the book. In the meantime, you can help us out by pre-ordering via Amazon, Barnes & Noble, or Books A Million. Uh, the reason why we pre-order is because the uh, these booksellers insist on it. <laughs> they insist on doing this, so we have to do this. But it is a chance to get you acquainted with this conversation, a very exciting, evolving conversation. I tell people, from the world of the microbiome, it's like I'm giving you a Commodore 64 uh, in 1982, 
equipped with Pong. <laughs> in other words, we're going to build on that and we haven't even foreseen all the incredible things to come. The ability for smartphones to act as GPS devices and laboratory, mobile laboratories, all the incredible things to come. Those are starting to come out now. So while many people are still in 1982 with their Commodore 64s playing Pong, we are we have taken many many big steps forward in our in our insight and sophistication and manipulating the microbiome. So thanks for listening. Hope to see you again.